What is going on guys? Welcome to your sixth physics tutorial and in this lesson I want to talk to you guys about a concept called projectile motion and I want to do this by giving you guys an example because I think it'll clearly push through the concept in your head. So say that you were sitting in a plane and whenever you did this crazy person who happened to be, let's say he was a watermelon salesman, he opened the door to the plane as you guys were flying. Now he's like freaking out and he's like, yo pilot, if you don't let me drop this big old watermelon from this plane, then I'm going to freak out. By the way, this right here is a watermelon. So the pilot's like, whoa, 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 do whatever you got to do, man. Just don't hijack my plane. So this plane is moving forward at 10 meters per second. Now, in midair, this crazy person drops the watermelon out of the plane. Now whenever he does that, the watermelon is going to take a path that looks similar to this right here before it hits the ground. There's the ground. So whenever he does, what's going to happen is this. At zero seconds, he's going to be holding on to the watermelon. At one second, the watermelon might be somewhere around here, one second. At two seconds, the watermelon might be here. And at three seconds, the watermelon would be right around here. Three seconds. So as you can see, there are a couple forces acting on this watermelon right here. First of all, gravity is pulling the watermelon downward at a force of 9.8 meters per second squared. So due to just natural gravity of the Earth, the watermelon is going to continue accelerate downward. So the longer it drops for, the faster downward speed it's going to have. Now aside from just a downward speed, because the watermelon's path isn't just like this, the watermelon has a curved path, so there must be some other force acting on this. And that is the force of projectile motion. Not only is it going downward, but it's also going forward as well. And actually, this is the thing. Whenever you're in a plane and you drop out something out of the plane, or if you're driving in a car and you drop a ball out of the car or something, that object is going to continue moving in the same direction and speed as the plane. So not only will this object accelerate downward at a speed of, at acceleration of 9.8 meters per second squared, but it will continue forward at a speed of 10 meters per second. So just remember that. It's going to accelerate downward. In other words, it's going to gain speed, but the forward motion, it's going to remain at a constant speed. So let's go ahead and take a look at this graphically. We're looking at three things, time, and we'll measure time in seconds. Now the forward speed, I'll just put forward speed, is going to remain at 10 meters per second and the downward speed is going to be accelerating. So this speed is going to be changing. So meters per second, meters per second. That's an S by the way. Not a very good looking one, but it's an S. All right. So at time zero, you're holding on to the watermelon. It isn't moving at all. So therefore, it has no speed whatsoever. At time one, two, and three, let's go ahead and figure out those. So at one second, which is this one right here, the watermelon is moving forward at 10 meters per second. However, it's moving downward at 9.8 meters per second. Now at second number two right here, what's gonna happen is there is no extra force causing this watermelon to accelerate. So therefore the forward speed is still going to be 10 meters a second. However, whenever you have gravity as a force, you have an acceleration. So after two seconds, if you remember from like two tutorials ago, it's now going to have a speed of 19.6 meters per second downward. Now at three seconds, again, it's going to be 10 meters a second. And I don't even know if I said this, but I know that you have factors such as wind resistance and maybe a gust of wind is gonna change the speed, but I'm just assuming for this tutorial, we're gonna forget about wind resistance and all that. So anyways, with projectile motion, if you drop this out of the plane, then you have a forward speed of 10 meters per second. However, due to gravity, since gravity causes objects to accelerate, after three seconds, this watermelon is going to have a downward speed of 29.4 meters per second downward. So again, that's key to take note of this tutorial. 
basically the forward speed is never going to change but the downward speed is going to increase and increase and increase due to due basically to the natural phenomenon of gravity in the earth making objects accelerate the faster and longer they drop forward so there you go there you have it projectile motion projectile motion is basically two different forces acting on an object the force that makes the object project forward at a constant speed and also the force of gravity which is always bringing things down so anyways there you have it hopefully you understand now in the next tutorial we're probably going to be covering some more about projectile motion and looking out how to calculate some more numbers so thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next video